How far would you travel to find a better life? The children who passed through Ellis Island endured long and difficult journeys in hopes of a new and better life for themselves and their families in America. Imagine yourself having to leave everything you know, your home, your family, your community, and your country, sometimes with little or no notice, to travel to an unknown land thousands of miles across an ocean. In many cases you have sold almost all you own to buy a ticket on a ship with thousands of other passengers. You carry your meager belongings in a satchel or trunk and you board an enormous and loud ship. So many people speaking so many different languages you can't understand or speak. The noise is unbearable. The journey is frightening. You are crammed into tiny spaces with thousands of other travelers with little food or water and very limited washing or bathroom facilities. The trip could last anywhere from two weeks to as long as six weeks or more depending on the weather and sea conditions. Storms are fierce. Sickness is everywhere. When you are finally near the end of your journey, you find yourself on the deck of the ship as you pull into New York Harbor. As you gaze at the new world around you, your eyes catch an amazing sight, a statue of a woman raising a torch. She seems to be lighting your way into this new world, welcoming you after your long, hard journey. People around you are crying and cheering. The ship begins to slow, and as it does, you begin to recall the stories you have heard about this place called Ellis Island, where you will be inspected by doctors to see if you can pass through to this new life. You will begin to get nervous. Your heart is beating fast. Will you pass inspection? You are tired, cold, and barefoot. You have just gotten off the crowded and smelly ship where you had little to eat or drink. The noises were scary, crying babies, yelling grown-ups, engines clanging night and day. No fresh air or privacy. You step down the gangplank with wobbly legs and people are pushing and barking out orders in a language you don't understand. You get separated from your family. All you want is to be warm and fed and clean, but you are now cold and lost. You wait in long lines that seem to go on forever. Still the noise is so loud. Still people cry and you cannot understand what anyone is saying. In front of you a girl and her brother are being poked at and a hook goes into their eyes. You cling to your mother's skirts hoping you won't have that happen to you. You are creeping closer to the head of the line, but everything moves so slowly here. The woman in front of you with the boy and the girl begins to scream and cry. It seems the boy did not pass inspection and will be taken away somewhere. You hang on to your mother's skirts even tighter. Your turn is next. You try to hide behind your mother, but she pushes you gently forward, and a man smiles at you. You cannot understand what he is saying, but he is gentle, and his voice soothes your nerves. He does have a hook, but gently lifts your eyelids to check your eyes. The man pats your head and smiles. Your mother beams. You have passed inspection. Your new life will begin today.